instancing is a very important feature in Lightweight and Octane. Instancing allows vast duplication of objects in a scene with very little overhead. With instancing, each virtual polygon count can be achieved, allowing the artists to populate their scenes with incredible detail, yet retain reasonable render times and memory usage. While instances can be thought of as clones of the original source objects, they can be randomly scaled, positioned, rotated, and even surfaced entirely differently from the source, allowing for a huge variety of uses. Octane totally supports Lightwave instancing system. In Octane 2.0, there is a new instancing architecture, which is 100 times faster than the old one, that supports the real-time instancing preview in the IPR window with no need to reload the scene. In this video, we will replicate one of the instancing scenes you can find in the content, the grass scene. Let's start loading the objects we need to build the scene. So terrain base and this one here. So as you can see, we have this terrain object and then other three objects. Let's change the grid square size or something like one so we can clearly see them so we have this very simple objects here that we will use to fill the terrain with essences so the first thing we have to do is to select the terrain base object and add the instance generator. I'm also going to get rid of the grid. We don't need it at the moment. And okay, from the instance generator panel, we can start adding the one of the three objects. And after selecting the object we just added, we can change the distancing type to surface. Now there is only one distance, but we can increase the number. Let's start with something like 5,000. And let's see how this looks in VPR. So we can see they are extremely small, but we can increase the sides adding a variation, as you can see, from a minimum of 100%, which is the exact sides of the object in layout, to 400%, so four times bigger. We can increase this a lot to better understand what happens, but I will leave it to 500%. We can also decide if we want the items to be aligned to the world axis or to the polygon normals of the object. So we can choose normals. So now we can see how the, the grass, it's rotated in different ways according to the direction of the normal of each polygon. Let's also set some random rotation. So from the 60 degrees on adding and minus five, minus five as a minimum rotation on pitch and bank and five and five as a maximum rotation. We can now add the other objects. So add object, okay, this one and this one. Now we have three objects loaded and I'm going to copy the settings of the first object we added and paste the same settings to the other two. Now we really need to increase the number of instances. So 50,000, we can go further, 150. 
50,000. So everything is completely filled by instances. We can now turn off VPR and activate the Octane render. Let's open the, the IPR. And as you can see, Octane can see without problems Lightwave uh, instances. This is really cool and extremely useful. Now let's tweak the scene a little bit. I want the main grass object to be more present in the scene. So I'm going to leave its weight to 100% and I'm going to low down the weight of the other two. So let's try something like 8% for the tall grass and 5% for the third object. So now that's what we have, which is pretty nice. I'm going to use the same render target of the content scene. So this one and go in camera view using the autofocus. So let's move the camera. I'm going to set the grid square size to something like 10 meters now so I can move faster and yeah, you can see the, the result. Very, very fast. The render is extremely fast. I have to say, well, my system is pretty powerful with four Titan Black and I'm using three of them. But even if I, I use just one Titan Black, well, you can really work without problems and you know use the the preview the octane render preview to tweak your your scene let's take a look at the render target and here we can change the power of the day this is you know, the daylight environment node so we can change it to four in the morning or six why not 12 and you see the changes in the scene lighting let's move to five in the afternoon Twenty in the evening, seven PM, six PM with the sun here. Something we often need to do when using uh, instances is to make the objects we are using as generators invisible to the render. In Lightway, you would normally deactivate the objects from the scene editor, but this doesn't work in Octane. So what we need to do in this case is to scale the source objects to something really small. and possibly move them somewhere we can't see them. Of course, this is going to affect the instances as well. So we need to solve this problem. So let's select 
the terrain. Let's open the distance generator panel and let's change the distance mode from world to local. Now we have the same result as we had before, but we got rid of those source objects in the render. Instancing in Lightwave is really a very powerful feature, and it's really well integrated with Octane Render. So have fun with it, and thanks for watching.